Hi, I'm Sean Levine. I'm a neurosurgeon here at Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center, and I'm the clinical co-director of neuroendovascular services at New York Presbyterian Hospital. Just wanted to tell you today a little bit about our experience with stroke in COVID patients. We had the experience beginning when the pandemic hit New York City to see patients having more severe strokes and those strokes presenting a little bit differently than those we had seen in the past. Because of that, we had heard anecdotally in New York City that other centers were experiencing this same type of phenomenon. We began to look at our stroke patients a little bit more carefully. We had heard that people are having problems with coagulation abnormalities and also with difficulty with uh, clots in other parts of their bodies, including the heart, including the lungs, including catheters that were placed in their bodies. And it appeared that patients with COVID were having these issues. So we were fortunate to look at a series of our stroke patients where we perform a procedure called mechanical thrombectomy. That is done when a patient comes in with a large vessel blocked in their brain. And what we do is we go through the blood vessel, typically in the leg, and we go in with little devices and remove that clot to restore blood flow to the brain. We saw in the COVID patients that they were significantly younger than the patients that we normally see. They also had clot in multiple locations, which was unusual. Some had clot in the carotid artery and the brain. Some had clot in two different major arteries in the brain. Because of this, we performed a review of our patients and we were fortunate to have that published in the Journal of Neurointerventional Surgery. There was a rapid review of that given the timely nature of the COVID stroke uh, pandemic. And fortunately, we were the first peer-reviewed manuscript to be written about this to alert those that do the same procedure and that treat these COVID patients around the world as to what they might experience. And what we found specifically was that these patients do have a clotting abnormality and this was verified by studies in the ICU and other blood studies. We also noted uh, with our anesthesia team that these patients were significantly sicker than the patients we normally treat more difficulty maintaining their vital signs, for instance, during procedures, and we had a colleague from our anesthesia department uh, on the paper as well. So the, the interesting finding was this, this coagula, uh, coagulability or this clotting problem, and in addition to the fact that the clot was more extensive and more fragile, and that made uh, the procedure significantly more difficult for us and we wanted to alert other interventionalists that perform this procedure what they might encounter when they take care of patients with stroke in the COVID setting.